Hey guys, so today we are going to be creating Iron Man. I love the Iron Man suit and when I was creating this there was a lot of very like small mechanical looking pieces. He looks like he's angry but he's just too small and cute to be taken seriously. And make sure you stay till the end of the video because True Brands Global gave me more unicorn wrappers and toppers to give away. I love this cake so let's get started. I just got out of the shower. I'm looking fresh. Robert Downey Jr. is sort of like the grandfather of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. He really helped pioneer the whole like movie comic book arena. Him and like Brian Sanger from X-Men. I love X-Men. He worked really hard to create this so I wanted to make sure I did Iron Man justice. First thing I did was draw. I drew out my Iron Man. One of the things I love about Iron Man are all of the suits. The Mark 1, the Mark 2, the Mark 42, the Mark 30. 37, the Mark 337. There's so many, so I decided that I wanted to sort of create my own. The Mark JK. I just took different elements from different Iron Man suits and combined all of my favorite traits. Now to be able to visualize all of the armor, I colored it with some crayons. I don't see that many adults coloring with crayons. I don't see any adults coloring, period. But it's life, you guys. Now to start this cake, I'm using my yellow cake footage. Now I took my cake out of the pan, placed my base shape on top of it, and then cut it out using my sidekick. Yellow cake is so underrated, you guys. It's so good, especially if you add cream cheese to the batter. Oh, it's so good. This is from a box. It's pretty good, it's not terrible, and the cream cheese makes it a lot better. Pulled away the excess, took my shape off, and then cut my cake into two equal layers. Now I am looking for a name for my sidekick and I was thinking because it's an Ikea knife, I could name it Meatball. The veggie meatballs at Ikea. Oh God, they're life. You know, there have been a couple times where I go to Ikea just to eat. I don't even really need to buy anything. Cafeterias are life. Do you guys like Meatball? I like it, but let me know in the comments. Now I'm gonna place this onto my cake board and fill the inside of it with some buttercream. My hair looks so neat. I look like I'm going to like my first day of school. Now in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Iron Man was like the first Avenger. Well, I guess it was supposed to be the Hulk, but then Edward Norton didn't play well with others. So then he got recast and now the Hulk is Mark Ruffalo. Now I placed it on my second layer of cake and I just started to carve. I'm just rounding out his head to give it sort of like a faux dome and then defining all of his arms and his limbs. Now growing up, I only read the X-Men comics. I never read Iron Man or Captain America or any of the Avengers. I knew of them, but my real introduction to them was through the movies. And I think Robert Downey Jr. is always gonna be Iron Man to me. Even when I rewatch all of his older movies like Sherlock Holmes, I'm like, look at this Iron Man walking around like he ain't Iron Man. Get out of here. I don't believe it. He's so iconic in the role. I gave my cake a crumb coat and then I placed it into the fridge to chill. And, and while it was chilling, I was watching this YouTube channel called Bite Shot. So Joni is the food photographer that runs the YouTube channel Bite Shot. And I've been watching several of her videos trying to figure out how to make this, this production thing happen happening behind me, how to make it better. Cause I've had some really funky lighting on this set. I've been taking her advice and I even bought the lens that she recommended that I buy. And I wanted to give her a shout out because I just thought her stuff was really helpful. Now I'm very curious about how many of you guys are YouTubers and if you guys would like tips and tricks that I have that I've been using to do this this whole production behind me. Cause if there are a lot of you that would like to know some secrets, then homie, I wanna help you out. Let me know in the comments. I'm gonna cover my entire cake with a single piece of red fondant. You see, this is where the footage is new and not recycled. Can you tell? My entire setup is like going through this dramatic change so all the footage looks <laughs> different. <laughs> but I'm still too lazy to just shoot what I already have so I'm like, I don't even, I'm not gonna bother. Now first I'm just handling it with my hands, that's what she's. Then I'm just using some sculpting tools to make sure that I have the separation of his head and his body and each of his limbs. 
I also started to tuck the fondant underneath the cake so that it would look seamless. It makes the cake look rounder at the bottom which gives this illusion of it being like a plush toy as opposed to just like a flat cake. Now with my sidekick, Meatball, or insert other name here, I just cut away and removed all of the excess fondant. Once I finished covering it with fondant, it was time to start adding all of the armor. The first thing I did was add a chest plate because I wanted to make sure that his chest pops out. In the suit, his chest like, it's like so big. Gosh. I don't know what muscles this all is, but it's doing a lot of work on the camera. After that, it was all of the little armor pieces that I created. Now I decided that I wanted to cut out each piece individually because the separation between each piece actually adds a lot more character to the suit. I wanted to make sure that I made this as intricate as possible, so that's why there's like really, really tiny pieces on this cake. Now if you want to recreate this cake for your son or your daughter or your wife, she could like this kind of thing too. Your husband would like this also. Maybe you're gonna try and sell it. I don't think that's legal. I think there's copyright issues. But you do what you do and I won't... I will look the other way. The government won't though, so be careful. I posted my drawing on my Koali Pops Facebook page, so make sure you go over there, you give it a like, and you look at all the tumbleweeds just like rolling through the page. <laughs> I need another somebody to help me run social media. How do I find that somebody when I don't have any money? <laughs> now if you are going to recreate this, be prepared. You're gonna have to be very patient. Rolling out all the fondant and cutting out all of these individual pieces took so long. And I don't have any footage of me cutting out each individual piece because I was watching Pirates of the Caribbean while I was doing it. Oh my gosh, the last two installments of that franchise, why were they disasters? There were parts of it I liked, but I just... Oh my gosh, as a whole, they were disappointing. Did you like the last two? Please say no. <laughs> now when you are cutting the smaller pieces, make sure you roll out your fondant probably two hours before you cut it so you get those nice crisp lines. And you're really gonna need these because the armored look has really nice crisp lines. Now for the head, I added the mouthpiece as well as this sort of head ornament, but I didn't like the way it looked. So I took some sculpting tools, outlined it, and then just enhanced the outline with my parent knife. And then I added his Iron Man eyes that are angry, but like little boy angry, so nobody takes you seriously, little boy. And voila, my Iron Man Bay cake was complete. And I do have to give another shout out to 100% Soft on Instagram. He makes all of the Marvel emojis. I love him so much. And this series of Bay cakes that I've created would not be possible if it weren't for all of those emojis. And if you're looking for more Infinity War content, I've got you covered, homie. I've got cupcakes, cakes, and treats that'll help you throw an awesome Avengers Infinity War party. I also have a Bay playlist so you can see all my Bay cakes. I'll link everything at the end of the video and in the description box as well. Now for the giveaway. If you want to win a package of these awesome reversible unicorn wrappers and toppers, comment down below the last pink unicorn. We did the last black unicorn before, so I thought it'd be cool if we switched up the colors. They're so easy to use, you guys, and look. Oh my god, they're so precious. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure you check out Bite Shot and 100% Soft, okay? I love you guys. I will see you very soon. Peace!